hurt yourself, Emmett. All right, on three. One. Two. Three. <laughs> So you guys play these characters who are incredibly strong, incredibly powerful, but for the most part in the first four movies, not so much with the being strong and incredibly powerful. How gratifying was it in this movie to actually get to have some real action scenes to play? It was really exciting. I, you know, mm. I, we're, we're both guys who like uh, action films, you know, like really like, and, and as actors, uh, yeah, we, we like it to do that. It's fun, you know. Uh, getting uh, standing around and doing scenes with a lot of exposition and you know um, it's, it can get a little boring you know so you gotta amuse yourselves you know and then uh, you know getting a chance to kind of run around you know uh, ripping heads off left and right uh, that's uh, that's great we had to do a little bit on Eclipse yeah so that's what did but we're, we're playing vampires you know supernatural creatures so yeah you know, I've been very much looking forward to to doing a scene like we did in Breaking Dawn where it's just a lot of vampiric fighting. And what did you guys actually get to do? How much stunt work was outside of you and how much were you guys actually in the fray? Well, actually, they needed a lot. We have such a large cast, so <laughs> I don't think, especially in this last one, to have enough stunt doubles to double everyone. So sometimes we would double other people or, or just be extras that are blurred out, but you need a body over there. Um, and like Jackson said, we love doing that. We love being in the action. It kind of fuels the day and moves it fast. It's fun to be in the middle of the fray, you know? It's like, uh, yeah, we, we, I, th I think we, we, were, we all, like, you know, had the option to, you know, have stunt doubles do a lot of the, the heavy lifting, but, you know, I, I, I can speak for Kellen and I when I say that we, we wanted to do as much of the stunts as possible ourselves. And I think we did, like, a large majority. It was the first, one of the first films that I've ever uh, had my stunt double come up to me and be like, dude, I'm kind of bored. Well, did you guys get to have any say in how um, Emmett and Jasper fought, like what their style was, how they approached this skirmish? I think so. You know, Bill was really wonderful about coming to us and, you know, talking um, about, you know, our characters with us individually. And, uh, you know, f for, for Jasper, um, you know, I always liked him as a very tactile fighter, very thoughtful and kind of, um, you know, I, it's, it's one thing, we never really get to explore Jasper's uh, power of influencing emotions, and so one of the things that I like to, to imagine that in, in his fighting style is that there's a certain sense of uh, confusion that he would kind of put upon his uh, his opponents, and so whenever he's fighting them, you know, it's like he's able to influence their emotions a little bit and make them a little scared or confused, so their movements aren't as are unsure that their fighting ability is kind of dumbed down, so to speak. So he's able to take advantage of that. Yeah, I remember back in the first Twilight, Catherine had us training in, in cat classes for a lot of the characters. So they had to get on all fours because she, the movement that cats and felines have, I mean, they land on all fours. They're very graceful in their movements. Um, versus my character, who she wanted me to mimic a bear, just be the big, he stands on two feet and he's very domineering and he's the protector. So taking those characteristics and the work that we all did with that um, for me personally um, I just I love having the bear in the back of my mind when I'm fighting and you know he's, he's the juggernaut so to speak and when you have this fearlessness because you you think you're indestructible you're just gonna punch through someone's head you're gonna rip their body apart and an easy little pull and twist kind of fearless now, obviously, when something is as successful as this, they're going to be looking for a way to reboot it, spin it off, whatever, as quickly as possible. For each of you, what would a spin-off based around your character look like or feel like? It's far removed from Joey as possible. <laughs> More like episodes. <laughs> the first Joey reference in any of these Twilight interviews. I've tried, I've tried. Yeah, well played. Me a second. I was like, who's <laughs> Joey in the movie? But now I, you know, for 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 Jasper, I wouldn't really necessarily see like a, a spinoff in the future. Um, I, I would like to, you know, if in all honesty, to, to explore his past. If that were to present itself, I would jump at the opportunity. Um, Jasper has a really amazing history, a backstory, um, being in from the Civil War and that kind of Western genre. So the Civil War in Texas was very interesting because um, it was a kind of the latter half of, of the Civil War, and then to inject it with uh, with vampires. I mean. I, I'm a Western fanatic, so that'd be that'd be really fun. I think it'd be fun to to put Emmett into We Bought a Zoo with Matt Damon. So Emmett has his zoo. He loves his animals and playing with the lion and the bears. And then <laughs> just someone, on every once in a while. some guy comes and wants to take the zoo away. And uh, 
you know, Emmett can't bite him. He wants to, because they're messing with his animals. Some comedy. And the great. first We Bought a Zoo reference in these interviews. So yes! Thank you. Yes. <laughs> For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com. <laughs>